it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring, wearing black trunks with gold and white trim, hailing from Karlsruhe, Baden-Württemberg, Germany. Known as the KO King, introducing Vincent Feigenport. And his opponent across the ring, the defending champion in the blue corner tonight, making his homecoming appearance. Entering the ring, wearing dark blue trunks, fighting out of and proudly representing Nashville, Tennessee. The undefeated, reigning, and defending IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, introducing a Sweet Hands, Caleb Brandt. He's really fast. I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, he does. Look at that hook. Oh, he hook and fight. oh he's hurt. He's driven back immediately. Plant just seems to be getting better and better. A student of the game, and already Feigenbutz backing up, and he looks stunned. Let me tell you one thing about Feigenbutz right now. His head is in one spot. It's not like he's moving it from side to side. He's determined to come back as best as he can. He keeps his hands up. He may not be moving his head a lot, but he keeps his hands up. And you got to be careful. He's a knockout puncher. And it's early in the fight, and he's still strong. As well against Feigenbutz. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Feigenbutz showed good defense, but... Kalem was able to get through with some straight, accurate punches. And one one thing Feigenbush is doing is like he took his eye off of Caleb. You can't you can't take go. your eye off of him. Here's that left hook right at the end of the round that uh, Feigenbush landed right on the belt line, and Caleb adjusted his shorts right afterwards. You, you got to pay attention every second in the full fight. Feigenbush driven back and he's hurt. A hook lands by Plant. And the right foot goes up for Feigenbutz. He's hurt. He got hurt. Rocked. He got hurt by a jab to start that off with Brian. And this guy didn't have it bad enough. Wow, an uppercut lands and then a hook. Beautiful combinations from Caleb Plant. Here we go. Here's here's the jab downstairs, right hand, and then a hook off the arm. But look how fast that went. See those arm punches. That arm punches just open it up. Here's that jab that stunned him. That's the one that really hurt him. See, you see him buckle right there. He doesn't stand up very quickly because he's buckled. And now Caleb notices that, and he goes in for this flurry right here. Here's the last flurry. It was a little uppercut hook. See, he threads the needle, then he goes around. Is, is a bit stronger right now. You don't want to take any chances. See, like, like right here. I'm rushing him and has him up against watch, the ropes. Watch. See how good he's doing right here, and he's going to be able to counter him. See, that's why he's sitting there. That's exactly what I was talking about. Most of those shots were being blocked. That's right. I plan. Now they're talking to each other. Caleb's capable of holding his ground a little bit more and putting the guy in his place. And here you see Caleb blocking most of these punches on the ropes. Vincent trying to catch him, but, you know, not getting through. You know, Caleb is showing his ring generalship. And it's Valentine's Day, so he's giving him a couple kisses. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Great Eagle. He's got a great chin, and he's got a good punch, and he's... Oh, Caleb oh, just yeah. caught him real good. And a right hand as well. Feigen, but he's hurt. His it. head is getting rocked. Plant comes out under control, but firing. Keeps delivering this type of punishment. And his hard shots again. He stays on his feet. Then his nose looks it. broken. There's blood flowing out from Feigenbutz's nose. So he is getting busted up. And you can see Malik Walid is taking a close look as well. For in one of these rounds that's coming up. Well, he's doing real damage in this round. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he is snapping his head back. It's target practice. This is what I was talking about earlier, is to start forcing your will on a guy like this. Because you're on the inside. He's extremely game. And Good hard body shot again by Plant. And Caleb's staying close to him now. He's got his confidence back again. He feels good being in there. So he doesn't need to move around that much. Okay, here we go. There's that right hand lead right over the jab. And then here goes these combination. Once Plant starts throwing punches and you don't defend yourself, he's going to keep punching. And then he threaded the needle there with that left uppercut to top it off. There's the body shots. See, he gets you. Thinking wide, then he goes up the middle on you, and then he keeps finding new spots. 
Same Plant goes man. to work again. This is where you can really hurt him. And Molly yes. Cody says, that's it. That's enough. And I like agree. I said. A virtuoso performance in his hometown. The champion of the world at 168 pounds in Nashville, Tennessee. They get to see their hometown kid come back. Michaela Plant here in Nashville, undefeated, 20-0, champion of the world. An emphatic ending. Kayla Plant on top at 168 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 23 seconds in round number 10. Our referee in charge, Malik Walid, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. And still, the undefeated IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Sweet Hands, Kayla Plant. Let's go to Heidi Andrel in the ring. Heidi is there with the champion, Kayla Plant. Thank you very much. We've got your grandfather, your father by your side for this historic moment for you, defending your title here at home in front of this crowd that was on their feet in the third round chanting sweet hands. How much did they fuel you in this fight? Say again. How much did they fuel you in this fight? Oh, man, I was super fueled. I could have went all night. The whole city came out. Nashville, stand up! Frenetic pace, you hurt him, yeah. you knew it was just a matter of time. You said you were it was gonna be the jab. It was the jab, but it was also the combinations, the uppercuts. How confident and how great did you feel out there tonight? Man, I felt great. I was relaxed, sharp. I told you guys I was gonna stop this uh, fight before the 12th round. I wanna dedicate this fight to my daughter, Aaliyah, who's in heaven. I wanna dedicate this fight to my mother. I want to dedicate this fight to my grandfather and dedicate this fight to the whole city of Nashville. Certainly an incredible crowd here. A lot of hometown support for you. I know this is your 20th win to start 2020. How would you like to see the rest of the year progress? Everybody knows I want that unification fight with David Benavidez. You know who the best 168 pounder is. If you want that, you got to come see me. I've been wanting that fight. I've been asking for it, and I'm tired of waiting. So that sounds like a good fight to make next. All right, thank you so much, Caleb. Congratulations on a great win here. Thank you, thank you. What a shot! Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.